Alright guys, this is Harry from 5 Years Review guys and um, today guys we're going to share another video in reference to this motorcycle suspension system. Actually I I got an idea from one of my subscribers regarding this video which I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, this motorcycle guys, it uses suspension system of two types. The front one is um, the shock absorbers which uses hydraulic system but the rear suspension it uses spring system so you might be wondering why the manufacturer of this motorcycle they decided to manufacture this type of suspensions and why the front suspension is made from hydraulic and the rear one is made from spring now i'm gonna share how this looks like front suspension is made from is made from this type of shocks and they, they use hydraulic inside it for for weight dampening and the vibration you might be wondering why the front one is this type but the rear suspension is of this type the front one is made this way for using hydraulic simply because the front tire doesn't carry so much weight compared to the to the rear weight of the motorcycle so if i project the motorcycle from this point from the sitting position of the driver to the rear position whereby the motorcycle passenger is expected to sit is, is is a little bit far from the suspension position so that means that this this means the rear is subjected to carry more weight compared to the to the front one that's the biggest difference but uh, i would like to talk more about the rear suspension system as you can see the front one is just made from two two hydraulic forks which goes just below there and the rear one is made by two strong double suspension system as you can see so if i put it closer guys you can see there is two there is two springs there is a small inside there is small spring inside which is yellow in color and there is this black spring on the outside of this whole spring set so you might be wondering why all of them there for. If the motorcycle was just made for only the big one, actually there would be so much vibration. But uh, the manufacturer was smart enough to integrate two suspension systems in a single shock absorber, as you can see. The small one inside is especially designed for weight dampening and vibration. And the big outside spring was especially made for weight support of the motorcycle. And the weight support of the motorcycle of this suspension system is made from three trajectories. The first one is from the swing arm, which is connected by the big boat here, from the chassis frame and where the engine connects it. But also the second trajectory or joint point is made from the upper part of the shock absorber itself. And the third part is made from the connecting joint below here so that's how the motorcycle stays in balance it doesn't wiggle from side to side but also it keeps the motorcycle aligned in the straight line to make sure there is enough support and um, the motorcycle doesn't carry so much vibration from the rear tire or from the vibration of the motorcycle as long as i use it that's why you can be riding this motorcycle on the rough roads but you won't hear so much vibration compared to if there was a this type of uh, springs in the front tire but also uh, i think they integrated the this type of uh, shock absorber in the front because these they don't cause so much vibration compared to compared to the front one so for the efficiency for the efficiency the hydraulic suspension they are subjected to support much more smooth riding compared to the to the spring ones that's why they integrated the hydraulic shock absorber in the front and the, the spring type shock absorber on the rear whereby the motorcycle is subjected to carry much more weight that's all for today guys um i hope this video is informative if you have any question regarding this type of motorcycle please leave a question in the comment section below and i hope we will get it solved that's all for today guys bye like, comment, and subscribe.